Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Today it's part two of a special series showing you the books that I look for in used bookstores, both online and in person, so that I can cut them up and use them in my journals. And a standard disclaimer that goes along with this, you can buy these books, you can cut these books up and put them into your journals and then sell your journals. You cannot scan the images in these books and then put them in your journals and sell them and you cannot scan the images and put them in a digital kit. That's what copyright means. You need to have the right to copy and we don't. We have the right to buy and cut them up though and use them up and make some pretty things. So this video will show you the bird books that I look for because I love my, my books are mostly nature books or my journals are mostly nature journals so I'm always looking for birds and other nature critters. This is a large book Oh, I have misplaced my ruler. Let's see here. This is oversized. So this is about nine and a half inches by 11 and a half inches, which means it's a little more difficult as far as I'm concerned to use it in journals because the pictures are so big, but come on, <laughs> the pictures are gorgeous. I'm sorry, this is Birds of Town and Village, paintings by Basil Eddy, E-D-E. And I just could not resist these absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. And of course, there's stuff about the birds in here. These are just beautiful. So I haven't found a way that I can use the oversized images in a way that pleases me yet. So I'm just kind of holding on to this book. This one I could probably cut up a little bit. But the images are just absolutely gorgeous. And it's a nice heavyweight paper. So that is Birds of Town and Village. Now we have, well, this one actually belongs in the other video, but I'll put a, go ahead and show it now. This is North American Wildlife. So you've got more than birds, and this is put out by Reader's Digest. Digest. The paper is thin, so it's good for collages. And the images um, look vintage-y enough that I would be okay using them. Look at these beautiful moths, butterflies, shells. So you've got all kinds of of critters in here. Like I said, this one should actually go in the other one, but we do have birds. There's birds. And these are small, so these aren't small enough that they could go on envelopes, they could go on tags, they could go on pockets. You could do all kinds of things with those. That is North American Wildlife by Reader's Digest. If you have any comments or questions about the particular books, put them down in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. This is Song and Garden Birds of North America, and this was put out by the National Geographic Society. It is about six and a half by ten, so it's a nice uh, size. There are photographs in here. They're, they're kind of old photographs, but then there's some that have more of a vintagey look, so it's kind of a little bit of everything. Some of these are paintings, and some of these are you know photographs, so you've got a little bit of both, but if you're looking for lots and lots of bird images, for me, I'm always looking for hummingbirds. So I was really pleased to see this. The images in here that I would use are small enough that I could put them in journals without any trouble whatsoever. But there are a lot of text pages in here, so you'd have to find it maybe at a, at a bargain to make it worth using in a journal. Let's see, here is a painting, and then we've got photographs. So we've got a little bit of both. That is Song and Garden Birds of North America, put out by the National Geographic Society. This is gorgeous. This is The Undercliff, which is a sketchbook by Elaine Franks. Just absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's just, it's an artist's sketchbook. You've got her beautiful paintings. You've got the beautiful text. You've got color. You've got black and white. A lot of these little pieces of text would look really well in your journal, too. Look at that bee. Oh, my goodness. It's always hard to find beautiful bees. Wood mouse. Now some of these images are large and some of them are smaller, but I think this is a wonderful book. The paper is a nice weight, so it's going to hold up to whatever you want to do to it. And it's just, it's all images. You don't have to worry. There's nothing wasted. You're just going to have to make up your mind as to which side of the page you want to use, this one or this one. Just gorgeous. So that again is The Undercliff by Elaine Franks. This one 
is a newer book, Bird Egg Feather Nest. If you're doing a bird book, this one is amazing. Look at those end papers, isn't that gorgeous? And this is, you know, a fairly new book, so again, you can, um, you can cut it up, but remember, you can't scan anything, but look at her images in here. How gorgeous are these? Now, this is a pretty big book. This is nine and a half by nine and a half, but a lot of the images are small that you can cut apart, and then uh, you'll have some larger ones as well, so you can pick and choose. It doesn't look super vintage, but it doesn't look super modern. Um, I, I just really like this book, and of course you can you know touch it up with some tea or some vintage photo distress stain. So that is Bird Egg Feather Nest by Mary. Now we have the Encyclopedia of Illustrated, Encyclopedia of Birds, and this was put out by Treasure Press. This is a large book. It is about eight and a half by 11 and a half. Um, heavyweight paper, so you can certainly use the rest of the pages in here that you're not using for the images. You can use for constructing other things. But the reason I grabbed this one is look at these. These are beautiful images. Owls, oh. Look at these guys, they're great. Just great. And you've got their eggs down here and some other information about the birds. That's the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Birds. And you have the uh, World Treasury of Birds in Color. This is another Galahad book. Beautiful in paper. Nice heavyweight paper and wonderful vintage images in here. Slight gloss to these papers, but uh, I think they, they are going to work just fine. It's not shiny at all. It's um, just a little bit slick. But these are great. Not too many full-size ones, so really all the images will be very useful. All these beautiful, colorful birds from all over the world. So that is the World Treasury of Birds in Color. Then we have a Golden Guide Birds, and you can get these in paperback or the really old ones are hardback, and they just have the vintage images, kind of like you would see in the old tea cards and cigarette cards that had these images. That's kind of what they remind me of, and very similar to what you would find in the Lady Bird, Lady Bird books in the UK. It's a small book, so the images are all a nice size. The overall size of the book is three and a half by five and a half. This is the RSPB Guide to British Birds. And there is a lot of text in here, but then when you get to the actual birds, uh, the paper is a nice matte paper feeling. It's not slick or shiny at all. Really nice. Nice images, nice ones to cut apart. You have to do some fussy cutting on there, but it's a nice one. Guide to British Birds. This is Birds of the Pacific States by Ralph Hoffman. It's a small book, about four and a half by seven, so five by seven almost. And you've got some black and whites in here, thin paper, and then when you get to the images, you do have some beautiful vintage paintings that have been reproduced in here. But it's a lot of black and white. So if you're doing black and white, you could certainly do a, a watercolor wash over these black and white images. I think the paper would take that just fine. So there are not a lot of color images in here, but the ones that are in here are beautiful. I might have taken a few out of here already. I think so. I think there's a few pages missing. The next one is Spotter's Handbook, Flowers, Trees, and Birds of North America. So this has got some of the birds and it's got small flowers, great flowers. This could have gone in the other video as well, but you've got your birds back here. Very small. Uh, the overall book is four by seven. So the inches. So the images would uh, definitely fit on just about anything and you get a little bit of everything. You've got birds, you've got flowers, you've got trees. 
Spotter's Handbook, Flowers, Trees, and Birds of North America. And this is another golden book, A Guide to Field Identification of Birds of North America. This is four and a half by seven and a half. And you've got some nice color uh, images on here, painted, look like old paintings that have been reproduced. Very small images if you're looking for small ones, or you could use the pages as they are. They'd make good envelopes or tags the way they fill a whole page like this. So that is Guide to Fill Identification of Birds of North America. These two I've taken a lot out already, um, and there's another one I haven't been able to find yet, but this is from the Audubon Society, Master Guides to Birding. So this is books two and three. And I think what I've done is I've taken out most of the ones that are painting. So this is another one that's got both photographs and paintings. But let's see if I can find a, a painting one in there for you. These are, again, uh, reminiscent of the tea cards, the vintage tea cards, which is probably why I took all the, let's see. So you might have to just take my word for it that they do have painted images in here. The photographs are great too, but I had pulled out all the, yep, looks like I pulled out all the painted ones. So you have to take my word on it. Audubon Society Master Guide to Birding. There are several volumes. Two more. Birds of the World. This is an older one, and this is awesome. Um, this is by Hans H.V.A.S.S. Look at these birds. Every single page you've got birds. Birds, 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 beautiful colored birds. I, maybe watercolor, I'm not sure what the paintings are, but they're just gorgeous. And they're a nice size. The book size itself is uh six and a half by eight and a half so all of these are going to fit on your pages on your tags on your pockets just fine okay that is birds of the world and this last one is a newer one um the wisdom of the birds but I saw those hummingbirds on the front and this is by tim burkhead if you have any questions about the books please put them down in the comments below and I will try to answer them for you there's some really great images that are in here and they're unique they're they're paintings and so there's a lot of text but some great images and the paper is a, a matte feels very um, porous so it's not slick at all and I think you could do lots of things with it so there's just some great images that you don't see in a lot of the other bird books. So maybe you can find this one as a bargain. So that's what I have for you with the bird books. I've got two more videos that will be coming. One will be the nature books that I have and then just kind of like a miscellaneous set of books that I uh, love to pull from. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next time. Bye for now.